Hey guys! Welcome back. We're in Melbourne. We have our hire car. It's very full. It's a Yaris. It's, it's, it's this big. We got this far away from throwing car's, a suitcase out. The car's this big and the luggage very is this small. big. I mean like, see it's very... It's great with Jeremy, I can definitely tell. We just drove into the city, into our old neighbourhood and we were heading to Loon to go grab some coffee and croissants. There's and like 4,000 people lined up. At least a two hour line. So we're like, well, we won't do that. We'll go to Burnside and go see our old mates at Burnside and grab a coffee. And we get there and they're closed because it's Easter Sunday. And then we got very lost driving around the streets of our old neighborhood. Maybe drove on the wrong side of the road a couple of times. Pulled up just here to our other old favorite cafe called oh. Every Day. Yeah, because they're, they're open, open every day. It's, it's in the name. And we get there and they're not even there anymore. <laughs> It's like, it's been closed down and being turned into it's luxury It's a completely apartments. different thing. This is the funniest and most disappointing. We're just doing, doing laps around finding places that are closed. So, oh, that whole building's gone. Oh. And I'm so hungry and I, I we drove past our old ramen place and I really want a bowl of ramen right now. They close all the time. For sure they're closed at Easter. Also, we bought SIM cards. But our phones don't And work my yet. phone has completely reset itself and it won't. So we I, can't even Google because our phones don't work yet. We can't figure out what's open. We can't yeah. figure And it's like, it's 9.30 on Easter Sunday morning. I just want a good Melbourne coffee. And we're hungry and we don't know. And Lemon has been asleep for like two hours now. I kind of need to poo. <laughs> I'm really thirsty. I just want a glass of water. I just run into cold. Uh, and just my favourite bar meat spot back there is open though. We're really just not succeeding. Alright, I'm going to pull over on the side of the road here and see if I can get my phone going. Go, pull up a coals and I'll run and get some beverages. I was going to wait to vlog till we had like achieved something, but so we we did get a coffee. It was so good. We uh, popped into Archie's where's, and that's our breakfast spot for tomorrow. And he's like my favourite breakfast spot in the world. Really good and super I checked the menu also. Still have dirty eggs. Still have the sides of like halloumi and that same oh, um, salmon. You just like all the bits. Awesome. Uh, but they were like peak brunch busy when we went past. So we made grab coffees and then we, I, I called ahead to uh, Andre Coote where we wanted to get our steak and fritz. And I was like, do you guys do steak and fritz all day? And they were like, yeah, Matt, we do. And I was like, cool, see you soon. And we just went there and they lied. We got there and they were like, steak fries don't start until. 12. And we were there just after 11 and they didn't have high chairs so we couldn't wait with, with old mate and they had literally no flexibility. They're like, we've got all these other great um, oh, breakfast yeah, options. Much. And I was like, no, steak fries or nothing. So we left. So now we are driving to Kettle Black, which wasn't on our list, but it probably should have been. It's a very great breakfast, brunch, it, if, lunch If spot. we had three days here, it would have been on our list. Easily. Wait, how do you even get to it? I don't know, this is my problem. There's a There's, lot of roadworks around here too. They're currently building a whole new tunnel. And because of that tunnel that they're building, in this area there's lots of roads not accessible. It's extremely confusing and very different from when we were last here, so we're, we're getting lost. We're driving around we're like we're locals, but we're not locals anymore. No. We checked in, we're at the hotel, we popped out again briefly to go grab just a couple of things that we needed, things that we can buy cheaper here that we can back home so we're stocking up. We bought a lot of socks, a lot of socks. Um, not even that they're cheaper, just Converse socks here. Anyway, now we're here at the QT in Melbourne. We came here for my birthday a few years ago, I think it was. Somehow Nath won a free night and it was really really nice. So we'll come back because we're only here a couple of nights So we'll treat yourself and we've got a king room. So we're planning on Luna sleeping in our bed However, we got in the room and there's like this little day bed Perfect Luna size little day bed So I'm gonna spin it so it leans against the wall Put a blanket on it and maybe it's like a tiny little dog Is that you like it? You want a pillow? Yeah. 
here and then if you come here on a blanket. Oh my gosh, it's perfect. <laughs> Do you love it? No, thanks. Oh, okay. We knew that was gonna be good, but I didn't expect it to be that good. Like that's, it literally just couldn't be more perfect. It's a perfect tiny toddler bed. It's got a bar on the side so she's not gonna fall out. I, it, it's literally just a miniaturized version of the bed she has at home. It's, it's so perfect. I actually can't believe it. Nans, you don't have to sleep with us tonight. Dinner tonight. Focus, mate. Dinner tonight is at easily our favourite spot to eat in Melbourne. At least for dinner, anyway. We have a lot of favourite spots to eat, but Chin Chin is so good. If you ever find yourself in Melbourne and you haven't been to Chin Chin, I highly recommend. And feel free to message us before you go. We're happy to give you ordering uh, suggestions. The musman curry, the sticky pork, the stuffed roti, I don't know other things. Oh, the chili crispy chicken wings. It's so good. Incredible food. Plus we're going to see friends. <laughs>
Keep falling in love Dreams should take some time But they come true I keep falling in love The way I'm so good and is always so good And the best bit is we got to see Kate I like obviously croissants are delicious. Kate came to New York and we actually got to see her a couple of times for coffees and maybe Luna and I went to meet her for dinner. I can't remember. Kate owns Loon and is the most the, the is an incredible pastry genius. She is and she, lovely person also. I mean, it has been said that she makes some of the best croissants in the world. No joke. I think I believe the New York Times stated that she makes the best croissants in the world. Yeah, I didn't want to give anything too definitive because I wasn't sure, but it's true. We got a whole box of pastries, thinking we'll like eat a couple and then throughout the rest of the day enjoy them. Ugh, we ate a, almost all of them. We, we almost ate the whole box. Um, and we're about to go out for breakfast. Yeah, we're meeting mates for breakfast in five minutes. And I think we've already decided that we're gonna come back tomorrow morning. Nice wall. We're gonna come back tomorrow morning. It's just, oh, I don't, I didn't even know. It was, it was euphoric. It was so good. The Queen of Man is probably my favorite pastry in the whole world. And Kate's Queen of Man is, I just don't even know how to describe it. It's so good. We had grand plans of all coming back here and napping. And we tried. We closed all the windows, we got it nice and dark, we put some white noise on, we put Luna into bed, tucked her into a tiny little bed. Fee read her a book and sang her some songs. Fee and I climbed into bed and laid down, and then Luna got out of bed. <laughs> and we put her back into bed, and then she got back out of bed, and we put her back into bed, and she got back out of bed, we sang more songs, and we read more books, and we sang more songs, and we put her back into bed, and then we gave up. And we went, all right, it's just not happening. But I guarantee you, I will bet all of the money that I have in the bank, I'm not telling you how much, it's not that much, it doesn't matter, um, that within four minutes of us leaving the hotel right now, she is dead to the world, completely asleep, just in a stroller. But her little mind just wouldn't let her stop and sleep um, in the bed. So we're gonna go for a walk. There's a couple of like errandy type things we need to get while we're here. We're gonna go do that and wander around while she has a, a little kip in the stroller. Just means that we don't get to have a kip. And then, in a little bit, we're gonna go have some dinner at Laser Pig tonight. Because Laser Pig is just one of those spots on our list that we had to have while we're in Melbourne. fall asleep. I think maybe like three minutes and she was out. She's been out for like two hours. Okay, we're coming. Mama, we're coming. I'm coming. Let's go. Let's go. I'm coming. Let's go. Let's go. Thanks, mate. Yeah, can you press, uh, press the G? Time to get some dinner. Two G's. Pizza and laser pizza. Two. two G's? Oh, good morning fam. How good's laser pig though? Uh, one thing that this does change about laser pig, I remember their burger being incredible. And either the burgers changed or my feelings about burgers have changed because the burger was pretty subpar. Pizza's still delicious though, but it ain't got anything on Roberta's. That being said, you can't get pineapple on pizza at Roberta's, so you win some of so We're checking out of our hotel this morning. We're probably gonna go back past Loon and get some croissants again. Gonna go to Market Lane and get a coffee, because coffee's delicious. And then we're hitting the road. And this has been our 48 hours-ish, 48 hours-ish in Melbourne. It's been nice to be back. It definitely doesn't feel like home anymore, but it's been good to see some people and eat some things and do some things. Now we're gonna go see some more people but you'll have to wait around for the next video for that because I think we're going to sign off here. This is Melbourne done. Bye, Melbourne. We'll see you next time. Hopefully in less than two years this time, but you never know. Who knows what life she'll bring. All right, I've had enough Peppa Pig for one morning. Oh, by the way, we have been up since 3.50 this morning. It was an early start. It's now, I don't know, 8 o'clock. Time to get out of here. 
the toilet. Bye. I got beat with the dark and I see where you are with the evil of heart. So I'm leading the argument, but leaving the bar with them, leaving the bars where they need to be all y'all needing a job with them, free with the spark. Cause it's easy, my God, you a creep or a fart. So I'm seething with y'all, don't need to destroy. You ain't reaching them all. To the key to the car, you can leave with the part. Hold up, let it.